going on guys? Beastly Gamer here. Welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be talking about Xbox One. Some of my favorite gamers in the world. I'm actually an Xbox One owner myself. And as someone who owns the Xbox One, I can only imagine what it must be like to be someone who's only owned the Xbox One for the last few years and getting the short end of the stick on lots and lots of multiplats. I know it's been frustrating. I know waiting for the Xbox Scorpio is like the sweetest revenge for the hardcore Xbox community. But every now and then, a game comes out that's a multi-plat that doesn't really shaft the Xbox community. And I'm happy to announce that there's a new game coming out. It's going to be a very popular game. And it's coming to the Xbox One in ways that won't be outshined by PlayStation 4. I'm talking about, of course, Resident Evil 7 on the Xbox One. This is a game that I would have thought in some way they would have found a way to make it less than the PlayStation 4 experience through frame rate, through resolution. It's just something that's become ubiquitous across developers. They always find more ways to maximize the PlayStation 4 experience for multiplats, and the Xbox One usually gets shafted. For the most part, it's usually a dynamic frame rate that's not as great as the PlayStation 4 version of the game. I'm happy to announce that Resident Evil 7 on Xbox One will run at 1080p, 60 frames per second, which is great news. I'll drop a link in the description. New Resident Evil game to run at 1080p, 60 frames per second on Xbox One. The release of Resident Evil 7 Biohazard next month will bring something we've not seen in AAA games titles this generation. Visual parody for the Xbox One and PlayStation 4 at 1080p, 60 frames per second. If you're an Xbox fan, this is a big deal. Since its release in late 2013, the Xbox One has consistently underperformed the PS4 graphically, meaning the Xbox One versions of games almost always ran at lower resolutions than the same game on PS4, and at lower frame rates in many cases as well. For the handful of Call of Duty titles I've played on both consoles, Black Ops 3 Infinite Warfare and Modern Warfare Remastered, I've not actually seen any difference just eyeballing the screen, but game quality comparisons are common on YouTube and on various gaming websites, and Xbox One always loses. This has led to the embarrassment of Xbox One being unable to play games at 1080p, sometimes full HD, with a resolution of 1920x1080p, while the PS4 often can do so. And while this shortcoming isn't the reason the Xbox One has fallen far behind the PS4 in this generation of console sales, it's a contributing factor. So. What's going on with Resident Evil 7 Biohazard? According to Gaming Bolt, the game's producer, Masashika Kawada, has told them that Resident Evil 7 will achieve visual parity across all platforms. Kawada confirmed that the game will run at 60 frames per second in 1080p on both the Xbox One and PlayStation 4. He also confirmed that the game will support HDR on Xbox One S, PS4, and PS4 Pro. There's no explanation for how the game is able to achieve 1080p 60 frames per second on Xbox One or visual parity with the PS4 in general. Both are rarities for AAA titles. I suppose part of the reason may simply be it's not a particularly fast moving game compared to a shooter like those in the Call of Duty series, but it's good news nonetheless, assuming you're into horror games that is. Resident Evil 7 Biohazard arrives on January 24th, 2017. Like so many games these days, it will ship in a standard version for $60 and a higher-end deluxe version that includes access to future downloadable content for $80. This is awesome news. Uh, I'm really happy about this. I can't wait to get my hands on this game. It's probably going to engulf at least that next 30 or 40 hours out of my life. Uh, but January 24th, I'm expecting a kid on February 6th. That's my daughter's due date. So somewhere in that time, something's going to happen. And whenever it happens, like if my daughter comes on the day that Resident Evil comes out, oh man, it's gonna, she's, she's going to start off on the wrong foot. I'm super excited about this game, and I know that lots of Xbox fans are really excited about this game too. It's really going to be awesome. I love what Capcom's doing with it. They've kind of gone back. They've even gone more survival horror with this game, and playing it on PlayStation VR has been a real treat. I cannot wait to get my hands on this game. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. If you're on Xbox One, are you excited to hear? Resident Evil 7 Biohazard will run at 60 frames per second, 1080p resolution. Just like the PlayStation 4, no compromises. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give a thumbs up, show support for the channel, join the Facebook group, follow me on Twitter, and you can support the channel at BeastlyGamer.com. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.